appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, let's bring in a small business owner for more on this one. Greg Zamfotis is the owner of five coffee shops in New York City. Greg, congratulations on that, first of all, because this is a tough town. It's so to shaken. have one that's successful enough that you've got five going, i got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed with that. Thank you. Uh, good to hear. Yeah, so uh, how do you feel about the economy right now? What's your confidence like? Because you're doing pretty well. We're doing okay, but, you know, we're in the people business. Coffee business is all about people and talking, and uh, I hear it all the time. People are having a tough time, you know. There's a lot of bad things out there, and people are losing jobs, and uh, it's not the same like it was a few years ago. But your receipts are up, right? I mean, mm -hmm. people are coming in, they're depressed, but they're drinking a lot of coffee. Yeah, I guess that's fortunate for us that, you know, we're in a business that people still need their coffee, so they'll still come to us. But, um, you know, I can't say that it hasn't hurt us a little bit over the times. Like, we've been in business since 2006, so you can see the trends uh, since 2008 are definitely a little bit different, you know? Yeah. How are they different? Well, back then, you know, people weren't as concerned maybe with uh, their extra income they're willing to spend, maybe get that second or third cup of coffee per day, maybe now right. one or two. Right. It's still good, but uh, not they got to cut back on the caffeine. Right. Let me ask you about some of the measures that were out there we were just talking about, if they would influence you, because that's the real question. You know, we argue about this will have an impact, that won't. You know, you, would you hire someone else just because you get, uh, you know, a tax incentive to do that? Would that help you? Would that be enough? Uh, I wouldn't, you know, I'm not looking to game the system or be like, I'm going to hire somebody just so that I can get a credit from the government or anything like that. You know, if I needed people for my business to make it run better, then I'd, of course I'd be interested in hiring somebody and I would deal with the consequences if I really had to and it would put me over one threshold or another. But um, Are you I, more reluctant to hire right now? Well, I'm right at that 50 person uh, threshold right now, so I'm kind of willing to wait and see what happens and if with uh, health care that's what right you're right about. you know if uh, if I have to cross that bridge I'll do it when I have to but um, right now I'm just kind of being cautiously optimistic about the situation and what I have to deal with so you're a real life person that's sitting there right at that 50 person right, precipice right. and you're saying if I hire this one more employee it's gonna really cost I'm not sure I mean if you think it's gonna cost you a lot because of the Supreme Court ruling but you never know with the election right I mean I'd love to be able to say I can give health care to everybody but the way that we build our business and we price everything uh, it's built on current regulations and things. So if all of a sudden I had to support a lot of extra costs, then things would change. And I think I'd probably have to raise prices. I don't know what I'd have to do to really combat that if I was going to have to hire extra people and be forced into that. Are you watching the election closely as it impacts your business? Of course. You know, I'm, I want to be informed and I want to know what's going on. And then planning for the future, we're looking to expand. And, you know, obviously if I expand any more, I'm going to be right over there, so I need to know what's going on. Are you? Can I ask you, are you rooting for one side or the other? Or? I mean, you know, I, I'm just paying attention to what's going on. I don't really pick sides right now. I'm right. trying to wait and listen to what both candidates have to say, and then, you know, when the time comes, I'll make a decision based on the information available. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate your insight on thank this. Thank you. All right, we're going to go to Adam Shapiro right now.